A warm welcome to our students, graduates, families, faculty, staff, and guests. Thank you for joining us today as we celebrate Michener's 2022 Student Award recipients. My name is Dr. Melanie Spence Ariama, and I'm the Dean of Student Affairs at the Michener Institute of Education at UHM. I am honored to welcome you to this virtual ceremony. I would like to begin our award ceremony by acknowledging the sacred land on which the Michener Institute operates and has been and continues to be the traditional territory of the Huron-Wendat, the Seneca, and the Mississaugas of the Credit River, amongst many other unnamed and unrecognized Indigenous communities. Michener stands on land protected by the Dish with One Spoon Treaty between the Anishabe, the Mississaugas, and the Haudenosaunee, that were bound together to share the territory and protect the land. We recognize this agreement not as a thing of the past, but as a continued promise into the present that we must be cognizant of. We have the, to share the responsibility of ensuring the dish is never empty, which includes not only taking care of the land and the creatures we share it with, but also transforming our personal and institutional relationships. We acknowledge that it is our collective responsibility to strengthen our ties within the communities we serve and practice health care in a way that advances the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's seven health-related recommendations. We are grateful to have the opportunity to work and learn on this land. As this is a virtual gathering, our audience is geographically located in many different places. I encourage you to take a moment to learn about the Indigenous territories and the land where you currently live and work. Miigwech, thank you. The Michener Student Awards are an opportunity to recognize our students' accomplishments. Each of our students have chosen an extraordinary career in healthcare, and while COVID-19 is the greatest challenge that has faced healthcare in generations, it is also a pivotal moment in time to be at the forefront of pioneering new and novel ways to deliver patient care and to be part of advancing clinical and practice research. We are extremely proud of you, our students. We are honored to be here today to celebrate your success and recognize your contributions, commitment, dedication, and hard work. I would now like to welcome Fiona Cherryman Head of Academic Affairs and Operations, who will say a few words about this year's new awards and donors. Hello everyone, and thank you Melanie for the introduction. It is wonderful to be part of today's virtual student awards ceremony and to celebrate some of Michener's best and brightest. I've attended this ceremony for many years, both in person and virtually. And every year I'm really struck by the accomplishments and dedications of our students. I'm always amazed by the incredible journeys that have led our students to Michener and a career in healthcare. Many of you have had personal connection to healthcare with a family member who needed treatment, rehabilitation or bedside care. This experience has motivated you to pursue a career where you could make a difference in patients' and families' lives. I am grateful that Michener could help you achieve your life goal. Today's ceremony is about honouring our students, but it's also about recognising our award donors, some of whom have been supporting our students and donating to Michener Awards for over 30 years. This ceremony is only possible because of our donors and we cannot thank them enough for their generosity. This year we are very fortunate to have three new awards that will be presented for the first time. The first is the Kevin Taylor Memorial Award for Leadership in Respiratory Therapy. Also, we have the Wanda Patano Award in Digital Health. And last but not least, the Paragon Orthotic Laboratory Clinical Education Award for a graduating student. Wonderful news. 
These new awards show that healthcare education is always changing and improving and that students' needs are diverse, especially today as we battle the pandemic and as students face greater challenges inside and outside of the classroom. On behalf of the Michener community, I would like to really thank our donors and welcome this year's new donors to the Michener family. And to this year's award recipients, congratulations and enjoy today's ceremony. Now, without further delay, let's proceed to the awards presentation. Entrance Scholarships these scholarships recognize students entering a full-time program who have exhibited excellence in their academic pursuits combined with leadership skills and community involvement. Awards for Chiropody. The Paris Orthotics Clinical Education Scholarship was established in 2009 and is presented to two students, one student who has graduated and another in their final year. Recipients have demonstrated leadership and professionalism in both clinical and academic settings. The College of Chiropodists of Ontario's Scholarship Fund in memory of David Weston is awarded to a student in their third year of the Chiropody program who has received consistent positive reports from both faculty and clinical supervisors. Paragon Orthotic Laboratory Clinical Education Award is one of Michener's new awards this year. This award is given to a graduating chiropody student who has demonstrated professionalism throughout their clinical placement and the ability to work both as an individual and in an interprofessional team providing collaborative, patient-centered care. We'd like to sincerely thank Paragon Orthotic Laboratory for their generosity and invite Teresa Berry, Senior Technical Advisor, to say a few words about the award. Hello everyone, my name is Teresa Berry and I am Paragon Orthotic Laboratory's Senior Technical Advisor. I am honoured to have the opportunity to speak to you today and congratulate the recipient of the Paragon Orthotics Laboratory Clinical Education Award. One of the main values of our company is to give back to our community and supporting a Michener Chiropody student in their education journey means that we're helping a future health care professional achieve their goal. We know that today's award recipient will eventually work in their field and care for patients in the best way they can. We also know that the pandemic has added financial stress to many students' lives and we're happy to relieve some of this stress so that students can continue to work hard and succeed in their program. Congratulations to this year's recipient. Awards for Diagnostic Cytology The 
The Dr. Hugh Curry Diagnostic Cytology Scholarship is presented to the second year student who has the highest average in microanatomy and screening of gynecological and non-gynecological unknowns in cytology. Established in 2005, the Zonta Club of Toronto Scholarship in Diagnostic Cytology is presented to a student enrolled in second year who has demonstrated a caring and sensitive attitude towards people and exhibited a genuine interest in advancing the health of women. Awards in Digital Health and Data Analytics The Wanda Patanu Award for Digital Health is new for Michener this year. This award is named in honor of Wanda Patanu, the former program lead for the Digital Health and Data Analytics program, for her efforts to promote the roles of women in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics disciplines. The award is presented to a student in the Digital Health and Data Analytics program who has demonstrated high academic merit. Awards for Genetics Technology The Dr. Alan Gardner Memorial Award is presented to a student in the field of genetics technology who has completed the first half of the program. The recipient has demonstrated consistent academic ability, good technical skills in the laboratory setting, and professionalism during the didactic portion of the program. It's an honor for me to present the Dr. H. Allen Gardner Memorial Award in Genetics Technology. I'm Jillian Rosenberg, Alan Gardner's daughter. My father was one of the people who developed the cytogenetics program for the Toronto Institute of Medical Technology a long, long time ago. And he continued his involvement with it as the college evolved into the Michener Institute and the program into the genetics technology program. This included teaching several classes, providing a clinical placement and participating on the advisory council. He was a huge supporter of laboratory technologists, and he truly valued the contribution they made to healthcare. So much so that he encouraged me to pursue a career in cytogenetics, which I did for several years. And it was a great pleasure for me to work with him here at Michener and to experience firsthand what a positive influence he had on the students. This year's recipient is Tannis McCarthy. Tannis is a second year genetics technology student finishing her clinical placement at the Alberta Children's Hospital in Calgary. Tannis, on behalf of my family and my father's colleagues and friends, all of whom made this award possible, I congratulate you and wish you much continued success in what I know is a rewarding career. The Margie Patterson Memorial Scholarship in Molecular Genetics was established in 2005 in memory of Margie Patterson, a medical laboratory technologist. This award is presented to a student who has achieved excellence in molecular genetics studies, demonstrated excellent technical skills in the laboratory, and exhibited professional behavior in both the academic and healthcare settings. for Medical Laboratory Science. The Medical Laboratory Science Academic Excellence Scholarship is presented to a third year Medical Laboratory Science student who has the highest average across all of their chemistry and hematology courses. The K. Boeington Medical Laboratory Science Scholarship was established in 1987, 35 years ago. 
This award is presented to a student who sets a positive example both in the lab and classroom and is active in student life. The Life Labs Medical Laboratory Science Scholarship is given to a student who has obtained consistently high marks in the practical components of their courses and has demonstrated enthusiasm, leadership, and teamwork skills. The Paul and Brenda Gamble Scholarship is presented to a third-year medical laboratory science student who demonstrates clinical ability and performance and the practical component of the program. The McDonald Sutton Laboratory Science Scholarship is presented to a third year student who has demonstrated outstanding patient skills during their simulated clinical rotation. Awards for Nuclear Medicine and Molecular Imaging Technology. The first award for this program is the Alexandra Mitchell Prudencio Memorial Scholarship. Established in 1998, 24 years ago, this award is in memory of Alexandra Mitchell Prudencio, a graduate of the Nuclear Medicine Technology Program who unfortunately passed away too soon. The recipient is recommended by their clinical coordinator for demonstrating excellent patient care while in the clinical setting and who has also taken an active role in the Michener community. We are fortunate to have two Dr. Fred Hege bursaries, with one awarded to a third-year student and one to a second-year student. The bursary recipients have demonstrated a commitment to the program and the profession and have maintained high academic standing. The Dr. J. E. Prince Nuclear Medicine Scholarship is presented to a student who has demonstrated an interest in healthcare and the community and is currently in the clinical component of the program. Joyce and Jack Longman Nuclear Medicine and Molecular Imaging Technology Scholarship is presented to the Nuclear Medicine and Molecular Imaging Technology student in second year who received the highest cumulative GPA in the first year of the program. Awards for Radiation Therapy the Brookfield Lepage Johnson Controls Radiation Therapy Scholarship is awarded to a student in second year of the Radiation Therapy Program who has made a significant contribution to the program, provided assistance to the faculty, and mentorship to peers. The recipient has also exhibited excellence in their academic pursuits. The ELECTA Radiation Therapy Scholarship is presented to a student who has demonstrated professionalism and leadership through volunteer activities outside of Michener and through their contribution to Michener student life.
The Tim Colfi and Cecilia Alfonso Radiation Therapy Program Bursary is awarded to a second or third year student with good academic standing and a genuine interest in helping people. The recipient has demonstrated a caring and sensitive attitude and has made a meaningful contribution to the radiation therapy program. Awards for Radiological Technology the Covidian Scholarship for Radiological Technology is awarded to a graduate of the program who has exhibited academic excellence combined with either leadership skills or community involvement and has been recommended by their clinical coordinator. The Dr. Jim Sinovich Radiological Technology Scholarship was established in 1990, 32 years ago. This scholarship is presented to a student who has made a significant contribution to the Radiological Technology Program. The Radiographic Quality Control Scholarship was initiated by Alex Gontar, a now retired radiological technology faculty member. The recipient is a third year student in the radiological technology program who has demonstrated excellent knowledge of equipment operations. The recipient has the highest average in four key courses and a letter of support from their clinical coordinator. The Zonta Club of Toronto Scholarship in Radiological Technology is presented to students enrolled in third year who are in good academic standing, have demonstrated a caring and sensitive attitude towards people, and exhibited genuine interests in advancing the health of women. for respiratory therapy. The next award for this program is the A.W. Kahn Respiratory Therapy Scholarship. We'd like to take a minute to note that the scholarship was established in 1978, 44 years ago, and this means that the award has provided more than $21,000 over the years to help our learners. Named for Dr. Alan W. Kahn, this award is presented to the student who has achieved the highest academic average in the didactic phase of the respiratory therapy program. The Bronwyn Roberts Memorial Award was named in memory of Bronwyn Roberts, a respiratory therapist who graduated from Michener in 1981 and was dedicated to her patients' needs throughout her career. This award is presented to a third-year student who demonstrates a commitment to caring for and helping others, as well as diligence and responsibility in their academic work. The Covidian Scholarship for Respiratory Therapy is awarded to a graduate of the program who has exhibited academic excellence combined with either leadership skills or community involvement and has been recommended by their clinical coordinator. The Kayum Abdul Scholarship of Excellence in Respiratory Therapy is in honor of alumnus and former program instructor in Michener's Respiratory Therapy Program, Kayum Abdul, Class of 1976. This scholarship acknowledges two graduates with the highest cumulative GPA entering their final year.
the Ontario Home Respiratory Services Association's Respiratory Therapy Graduating Student Scholarship of Excellence is presented to a graduate of the Respiratory Therapy Program who has demonstrated motivation, dependability, and reliability during their clinical placement. The ProResp Respiratory Therapy Graduating Student Scholarship of Excellence is presented to a student who has demonstrated a passion for excellence in clinical respiratory care. The RESPAN Respiratory Therapy Award for Student Excellence is presented to a second year student in recognition of their extensive volunteer work in their community during the academic year or who is actively caring for dependents while pursuing their studies. We are honored to introduce the Kevin Taylor Memorial Award for Leadership in Respiratory Therapy, another award that is new to Michener this year. This award is presented to a graduating respiratory therapy student who has demonstrated leadership and professionalism among their peers and throughout their clinical placements, and who has achieved academic merit. Please welcome Jackie Houston, Kevin Taylor's widow, who will say a few words about this new award. Hi, my name is Jackie Houston. I am Kevin Taylor's wife. With me, with me are our four children, Isaac, Theo, Felix, and Zoe. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to be part of today's student awards ceremony and to congratulate the recipient of the Kevin Taylor Memorial Award for Leadership in Respiratory Therapy. My husband, Kevin, was an amazing person who found joy in so many things in life. He was a musician, a traveler, and he loved the outdoors. He was constantly surrounded by friends and family, and he was a devoted father. Kevin was also deeply committed to his chosen profession of respiratory therapy. He first became an RT 25 years ago. In his work as a clinician, he always enjoyed teaching and mentoring students and new staff. Building on the skills and assets he had gained as an RT, he completed his MBA degree and moved into administrative roles in the hospital. Most recently, Kevin was the Registrar and CEO of the College of Respiratory Therapists of Ontario, where he proudly represented his profession, became a leader in the field of health regulation, while gaining respect in healthcare communities across the country. Kevin always believed in RTs as leaders and what they could contribute to the healthcare system. He supported and mentored many colleagues throughout their careers. Kevin passed away in August 2021, and our family was deeply touched by all the donations that were made in order to support the creation of this award. It means so much that we can support a Michener Respiratory Therapy student who has been recognized as a leader and has demonstrated professionalism. And we look forward to supporting students for many years to come. We hope this award encourages the recipient to commit themselves to the profession of respiratory therapy to continue to play a leadership role and to go on to do great things in healthcare, just as Kevin did. On behalf of our family and Kevin's many friends and professional colleagues, I would like to congratulate this year's recipients. Congratulations. Awards for Ultrasound The True North Imaging Scholarship in Ultrasound is presented to a graduate who is passionate about their chosen field, has demonstrated strong interpersonal and communication skills, and works efficiently within a team-based environment. The recipient seeks out, considers, and accepts constructive feedback and grows professionally as a result.
The ultrasound scholarship is awarded to two second-year students who have consistently exhibited professional behavior in the academic setting and shown a commitment to improving the lives of others, as illustrated by the ability to work both as individuals and as members of an interprofessional team. Clinical Scholarships The Clinical Placement Relocation Awards are presented to two students who have relocated 50 kilometers or more from home to their assigned clinical placement. Consideration for this award is also based on the recipient's career aspirations, abilities, and achievements. This year's Michener Excellence in Clinical Education Scholarship is presented to two students who have exhibited leadership and professional behavior in both academic and healthcare settings. Recipients have demonstrated a commitment to improving the lives of others, as illustrated by their ability to work as individuals and in interprofessional teams. Michener Excellence in Clinical Preparation Scholarship is presented to a student who has exhibited professional behavior and the ability to work effectively both as an individual and in interprofessional teams in the clinical preparation semester. General Scholarships the Alpha Charitable Foundation scholarships were established by Dr. C. Joseph Curian, founder of Alpha Charitable Foundation and president of Alpha Laboratories. This award is presented to two students who have demonstrated a commitment to their community through volunteer involvement and outreach programs that assist others in need. The Dorothy A. Hubs and Gamble Family Scholarships are the most significant individual gifts given to Michener students. The scholarships are presented to two students in their graduating year who have demonstrated a commitment to learning by undertaking independent studies or research at Michener. The recipients have also demonstrated a commitment to community leadership. The Dr. Clarence Redekop Memorial Scholarship was established in memory of Dr. Redekop, a former member of Michener's Board of Governors. This award is presented to the student who has achieved the highest GPA of all advanced diploma programs at Michener. The Dr. Dan Wilmot Scholarship is presented to a registered technologist in diagnostic imaging who is pursuing further studies at Michener, or to a registered technologist who has successfully completed the didactic portion of a post-diploma program at Michener. The Dr. Renata Krakauer Research Scholarship was established by Renata Krakauer, former president and CEO of the Michener Institute. The recipient is engaged in a research project under the supervision of a faculty member. The project was completed outside of normal course requirements.
Michener Student Council Awards. These four awards are presented to students who have made contributions to their program and student life at Michener. The My Health Award for an Outstanding Black Student recognizes black individuals who demonstrate a commitment to black community involvement and a desire to enhance black lives through their education and career choices. The National Bank Awards are presented to two current year students who exhibit excellence in healthcare quality, patient safety, and innovations in health services delivery through interprofessional collaboration during their studies. Recipients modeled open inquiry and helped foster a sense of curiosity and innovation in their clinical and didactic studies. The Saul Ellis Memorial Bursary is awarded to a full-time student who is in good standing and has submitted a thoughtful short essay along with their bursary application. The Ron Bentley Memorial Faculty Scholarship was named in memory of Ron Bentley, a former member of Michener's faculty, and is presented to a student in their final year who has shown academic excellence over the course of their didactic studies. The recipient of the award is nominated by Michener faculty. Alumni Scholarships. The Michener Alumni Association Scholarship is presented to a member of the Michener Alumni Association who through their accomplishments has demonstrated leadership and is a positive role model in their community. The TD Insurance Maloche Monix Student Alumni Scholarship is presented to a student in their graduating year who has contributed to student life or the Alumni Association. Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Brian Hodges, Executive Vice President Education and the Chief Medical Officer at University Health Network. It's a great honor to present the Dr. Diana Michener Schatz Scholarship, which is named as a tribute to our founder and the first CEO of the Michener Institute. Dr. Schatz passed away in 2020, and this award helps us to celebrate her life and her many contributions to healthcare and education. Dr. Schatz blazed a trail not only for healthcare nationally and globally, but she was one of the first female directors of an educational institute in Canada. She paved the way for women leaders in roles in healthcare and education. We are very fortunate that we had the opportunity to celebrate her life and her accomplishments at Michener's 60th anniversary in 2018 and again in 2019 
when she was awarded UHN's prestigious Global Impact Award. This scholarship is presented to a student who has undertaken a career transition while achieving academic excellence, exemplifying innovative thinking in their chosen applied health profession and contributing to the betterment of the Michener community. Good day everyone, my name is Kevin Smith, I'm President and CEO of the University Health Network and the Michener Institute at UHN. It's my great pleasure to be with you and to be part of today's awards ceremony and to present this year's President's Scholarship. Before we announce the recipient, I want to say a few words to all award recipients and Michener students and alumni who are watching today's ceremony. As we've navigated through this pandemic and as we now begin rebuilding our challenged healthcare system after over two years of struggle, the success in your program and the work that you've done is truly showing a commitment to patients in healthcare and making a massive difference to those most in need. So I want to begin by a very sincere thank you to each and every one of you and to the faculty who have supported you during this time. A real thank you to all Michener staff. It's clear that you've all been well prepared by your education to face the crisis that we've just come through and that in large part has been due to your training and education and I hope that Michener has contributed to that in a very positive way. The President's Scholarship is presented to a graduating student who has contributed to student life, who's demonstrated leadership, who set an example as a team player and who has worked both in the lab and in the classroom. The recipient is nominated by a member of the Michener faculty. We can now reveal the award recipient. Congratulations to this outstanding student and future healthcare professional. It has been a privilege to recognize the commitment, dedication, and exceptional work of our current and former students. I would like to close today's ceremony by acknowledging several people who were involved in organizing and planning today's virtual event. Thank you to our nominators who took the extra time to write nominations that highlighted our students' accomplishments. Thank you to the members of the Scholarship and Awards Committee who spent hours reading nominations and selecting the recipients. Thank you to the Michener faculty and staff members who served as readers in this ceremony. On behalf of Michener, and most importantly, I would like to express our gratitude and thanks to each of the donors, award sponsors, and supporters who made these awards possible. Through your generosity, we have presented 59 awards with a total of more than $71,000. Your generous gifts not only enable us to recognize our students, but it also acknowledges our future healthcare professionals and healthcare leaders. Michener students will continue to be impacted by unexpected life events and circumstances. There is always an opportunity to support our students by donating to Michener student bursaries through an online donation option. Just go to michener.ca and click the donation button. Your contribution could change a student's life. Congratulations once more to all our award recipients and thank you for celebrating with us today.